Hello everyone, it's Noah here from iHollywood TV. Well, as we move towards March, 80% of all people who had made the resolution to have a healthier 2022 have ditched the gym and their bodies for the, their same old habits. So joining us today is lifestyle makeover expert, Chris Gibson. Chris, thank you for taking the time. Hello, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm awake. <laughs> uh, so the life, the, life the, the health coach is awake. Yeah, it's, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> By the way, I like your background. It's all blue and festive. You have the yeah. That's actually on. yeah. It's my YouTube uh, background, and since I'm in Florida, I thought I would brag a little. Yeah, <laughs> since well, it's cold so many places. Keep on so. bragging, Chris. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you. I'll brag until it's a hundred here and it's seventy five <laughs> everywhere else. <so. laughs> well, let's go ahead and get started. So, creating a healthy lifestyle isn't just a diet or cutting out fatty foods or carbs. It takes understanding how to make change that stick past the resolution stage. So, Chris, share with us why so many Americans are missing what it means to live, you know, a healthy lifestyle. Um, the first thing is, is we do the exact opposite of what that's all designed to do, which is to make us happier, healthier, more motivated. We put too much pressure on the goals or ourselves. And I see this all the time, especially this time of year. And what generally happens, let's take a person who got the gym membership and wants to work out and, you know, feel better. They have reasons, maybe lose some weight, whatever. Uh, or the doctor told them to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what'll happen is they'll be very motivated in the beginning and then they'll miss for some reason. Like the mm -hmm. child got sick or PTA meeting or, you know, whatever, something happens. And they think that that one Fall, they see it as falling off the horse and then they're like, oh, well, whatever. The whatever's become more often. And that's because we put so much pressure. Lifestyle changes, resolutions, we do them all the time. <clears throat> we do them every day about different things. Um, you know, burn your arm on a stove. You're not going to put your arm back there. That's a resolution. I'm going to watch and put my arm mm -hmm. back on the stove. But we see these resolutions, these huge goals, and we and we put all this pressure on ourselves so that when we mess them up, it's very easy, <clears throat> excuse me, it's very easy to back off of it. So um, I try to like coach people to take bite-size steps right. and to understand that you're going to fall, something's going to happen to mess you up. And mm -hmm. lifestyle change is a lifestyle change. You're making a change, building a habit, which is going to take you about a month or two of consistency till it fits in your routine it fits in your life your friends understand what you're doing your you know what i mean it has to mm -hmm. it has to fold into your life and so not getting frustrated not giving up too soon um, is the big thing that's really what happens <clears throat> excuse me is that people get knocked off the horse and they just don't get back on they're like well it's not going to work for me i can't fit it in my schedule my husband doesn't like it my wife doesn't like it and we're just talking about going to the gym but this is lots of things jobs mm -hmm. are a resolution so when you take resolutions and you look at them that way as part of your normal life the way it's going to be you know when you move to a new house you don't keep going back to the old house right <laughs> Right, you don't That's right. park in your old driveway unless you're me and forget. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that, by the way. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's really the bite-sized pieces and not putting a ton of pressure on yourself in the first place, mm -hmm. making realistic goals, stuff that people have heard before. But the real science behind it is it takes a consistent um, practice over a period of time and not getting that frustration level going because that's really what does it for people. Now, Chris, what are some of the most common myths when it comes to health and fitness? Uh -huh. Well, the first one is there are no pain, no gain. I love that one. <laughs> uh, if there's pain, you need to stop. <laughs> um, I see this a lot. You know, I, I do a lot of, uh, of age related um, mm -hmm. coaching, um, boomers, stuff like that. And uh, there's a propensity. I love that word propensity to overdo. Mm to just do too much um, and not give yourself that recovery period because we've been ingrained in most of us starting in high school gym 
no pain, no gain, no pain. Well, you know, you can have pain as an 18 year old and it'll go away the next day. You have pain as a, you know, 55 year old, 45 year old, even a 35 year old, it doesn't go away the next day. So you no, no, can't no. ignore your body. <laughs> so that's a really big one. And that mm -hmm. again is a motivation stopper. What will happen is you'll get hurt. You'll get back into your old sedentary routine and give up on that. Mm -hmm. So that's one. The other is that fat turns into muscle. Oh, I don't know believe where that. that ever came from. That's not even physiologically possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fat, mm -hmm. <laughs> when, when, when fat turns into something to go away, it turns into water, basically. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, the fat cell is burned and the, the contents of the cell are emptied and you pass that off as water. Um, so I see people like, oh, this bulking up thing. Anyway, that's really not true. Um, but it's very ingrained in society that, you know, I can turn fat into muscle and no, you need to right. burn, you need to burn that, that cardio needs to come in first, a little bit of cardio walking. Um, it's amazing what can happen to your body, uh, especially as you get older, when you go from sedentary to active and by active, I mean, just 20 to 30 minutes of activity a day, walking the dog, playing outside, taking walks a light jog, swimming. This is not marathon running. There was a study that came out <laughs> at the end of last year, Health Got study, proved that people who were sedentary in a range of ages from 45 to 75 implemented that consistently. The 20 minutes a day of moderate to light exercises were able to roll back their biological age three years and eight weeks. Mm, that's, the, that's the amount of difference that that can make for you. You learn something new every day, Chris. Now, a lot of us, we want to lose weight, but we want to lose weight and like and see change in like a week or two. <laughs> I know it takes yeah. longer than a week or two to see change. Uh, you know, it takes like a couple of months really to keep it steady, yeah. keep it going, you know, stay on this path of walking yeah. each day, not yeah. walking every couple of days and hope you right. see some sort of difference. Is that a true statement that is a true statement and the the interesting thing is this is another and this will bust another myth mm -hmm. uh, it takes about two weeks for you to see initial changes in anything that you're doing whether that's working out with light weights or doing that daily walk about two weeks for you to to visually and physically really notice something is changing the reason for that is oftentimes when we start exercise routines or running or what have you there is an increase in inflammation in the body which holds on water which is why you remember when the biggest loser was on television they wouldn't let people get on a scale for a whole week yes same that's that's why because what happens is your weight kind of goes up you hold more water and water weighs a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> weighs a ton so what happens is people start to diet and they start to exercise the inflammation level goes up they hold a little extra water maybe a pound or two they've been working their butts off for you know a week and they jump on the scale and they're like it went up I haven't had a carb all week and it went up and they don't realize that that's what that is. So what'll happen is at that second week onward, as your body adjusts to that activity and you're burning those calories, more of those calories than you're taking in, then you hop on the scale and you can see a five or six, seven pound weight loss and go, what, how is that possible? Because your body's inflammation level is down and you've released a lot of that excess water. So that's why we ask people to stick it out for a month. Don't try to weigh any, don't try to look for anything. Just go four weeks. Just do it as if it were a part of your daily routine and then check in at the end of the month and see where the progress is. Chris, this has been a great conversation about eating healthy and living a better lifestyle. Now, where can we go for more information about everything that we have discussed this AM? Well, of course, my website's chrisgibsonlive.com, which has got some of the fitness. The YouTube channel is very skin and, and health centric. So that's mm -hmm. Chris Gibson Live on YouTube. It's easy to find. Just type in my name. Um, these days, you can type in my name and a condition and the videos pop up because I have <laughs> 500 of them. Uh, so those are really the best. And then I have a blog that's called Skin So Fabulous, which is skin centric. But we talk about fitness and we talk about um, eating right and diet and all the ways those things play a role in your health. So it's all tied together uh, to get you through your life feeling good. Nobody wants to be old and falling apart. I think okay. people want to live longer, but they want to live better. Well, there you have it, everyone. Be sure to check out more of Chris. 
on his social sites. Thank you so much for a great conversation. I appreciate it. Awesome.